We're here with Robert Sarvis. My name is Rick Patterson. Getting a few answers for a few questions that people might have. Uh, Mr. Sarvis, for those of you that don't know where you stand on some of the important issues, what are your ideas on uh, gay rights and the law of the law? I think it's really important that we treat everybody equally. That everybody who comes here from anywhere in the world or, or grows up here, regardless of their background, should uh, enjoy the equal protection of the law. Uh, in regard to things like same-sex marriage, I, I'm not. I don't think the government should be involved in giving legal privileges based on our personal relationships. So if it's going to, I think we should, uh, you know, make sure that same-sex couples have equal access uh, to those privileges. And you know, this is an issue that really matters to me. Um, my my own marriage was illegal for two years ago in the state, and so I think it's important that we, we all stand up for marriage and freedom and equality. How about your opinion on the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, and your views on uh, curbing gun violence? Well, I, I'm the strongest supporter of the Second Amendment in the governor's race, and I, I believe that it's important to have evidence-based policy. So, so I, I think that the, the, the gun control measures that are being proposed, uh, almost all of them have been shown not to have an effect on gun violence, but they also burden law-abiding gun owners. And so I think that you know we should avoid those kinds of uh, non solutions and focus on what really causes the vast majority of gun violence. on the possibly broken education system and how to fix it? Well, the education system has a lot wrong with it. It's, uh, you know, we have a lot of administrative flow. We have some schools that are failing the students. We have other schools that are good, but they cost too much money. Uh, so I think there's a variety of things that we can do in reforming the public education system. But I think we also need to make sure that parents and students are the ones who are uh, controlling, uh, who, are a, who are in a position to uh, you know, leave failing schools if they are failing them, and uh, you know, through a, through a system of choice and competition, we can create a, a market for educational services that's open and competitive and increases uh, educational outcomes at lower costs. How do you feel about getting away from the SOL type agenda to more of an individual? Yeah, I, I think we need to eliminate the SOLs altogether. I mean, they, we, we not only teach to the test, but there's ways to gain the system entirely. Uh, they only measure one type of learning, and that has caused us to basically ignore other types of learning, leadership and entrepreneurship and uh, you know, group working and creativity and things like that. And these are things that are actually going to, you know, critical thinking skills that are going to, to matter to students as they go out to a, the economy of the 21st century, which, which you have to go where the opportunity is. You always have to be re-educating yourself and making sure your, your skills are uh, needed in the economy. And so, so this is an important time to build the educational system of the 21st century. How about you on your stance on immigration? Immigration, I'm a very strong supporter of an open and welcoming society. My mom was an immigrant. Uh, she became naturalized about 50 years ago. And what we really need to do is increase the number of legal immigrants we have and make sure in Virginia, uh, we, can, we can't control federal policy, but we can make sure that anybody living in Virginia uh, is brought within the law, that they get the protection of the laws, that they're paying into the, that they're, they're paying taxes, that they're uh, contributing to the economy, that they're contributing to our culture, and uh, once we do that, I think that we'll have a very, uh, very strong, uh, very strong society. And now, uh, one more question about the talking points of the, of the day in the news. Obamacare, your opinions on uh, an affordable, universal health care? Right, well, I just, I think that, uh, you know, further federalizing our health care system is the wrong way to go. Uh, the federal regulations that we have prior to Obama, given to us by decades of Republicans and Democrats alike, have really undermined any ability for, for the health care system to provide affordable care. And, you know, 
increasing increasing the regulation and the central planning of that is just a mistake. We should be moving in the other direction. I would like to see a lot more state policy freedom. Yeah, I've also been the only candidate talking about uh, reform of doctors and nurses licensing system. Uh, that, that basically reduces the number of healthcare professionals that are available to us, increasing prices. I also talk a lot about uh, ending certain regulations like certificates of public need, which also reduces the supply of healthcare services, increasing prices. Uh, and you know, so there's a lot we can do, but we have to get back to open and competitive markets and uh, you know, more competition, more entry from uh, you know, more people getting uh, the education uh, to provide to, to be nurses or, or doctors. And we have to sort of free nurses from the system that keeps them from offering primary health care services and increasing uh, independent practice rights, scope of authority, and things like that. Well, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day.